Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know it's been a minute since I've posted a cooking video and I promise you I have been cooking. I've just been so busy and preoccupied that I've not had a chance to post any of my yummy goodness. But today I have a nice special for you. Today I'll be showing you how to make, of course, Caribbean style roast pork and it's juicy, tender. It does not cost a lot to make, but definitely it costs time. It takes a little bit to marinade and to prepare in the oven. So this is what you need. All right, so this is 2.8 pounds of pork shoulder, bonus pork shoulder. It's almost three pounds, 2.8 pounds. And this is my concoction that I will be rubbing in it. I have mixed in this three tablespoons of garlic. You can add more if you wish. I've added one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, two teaspoons of brown mustard, one teaspoon Italian seasoning. You can even add up to two teaspoons Italian seasoning. I've added about a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning and I've added about eight to ten seeds of this allspice. This is what the allspice actually looks like and what you do is you just use a, a bottle and crush them into smaller pieces. I'll also be using a half a cup of freshly blended pineapple puree and it's puree because I definitely want that residual thickness from the pineapple. You will definitely need as well some olive oil and that's going to be the medium by which we mix all these ingredients together and it's going to help to soak up all the, the, the flavor, help the, the meat to soak in all the flavor. So I have all my allspice grounded and I'm going to add them to the concoction. So now I'm going to add a quarter cup of olive oil to that mixture and my half cup of pineapple puree and I'm just going to mix that in and then massage it into the pork shoulder. Yes, okay, so I forgot to add that I'm using kosher salt. I'll be using at least one teaspoon of kosher salt. You can use regular salt, but you want to mix the salt into the mixture before you add your marinade. If you notice, this pork shoulder looks like it has been in attacked. It's definitely had an accident with my knife because you want to make sure you use a, a knife to puncture the pork shoulder all over, inserts uh, slits into it all over. So it definitely should look like it's been in a really brutal knifing accident all over, underneath everywhere. And those holes are going to facilitate uh, this uh, mixture that we're making going deep into it and uh, we're going to do this and once we do this, we're going to allow it to sit and soak for at least five to eight hours and marinate. So now I'm just going to add this marinade to the pork shoulder and I'm going to massage it as much as I can. But you just want to make sure that you have it covering the pork shoulder. Once you've ensured that it's completely covered, then you can leave it to just uh, naturally sit there and marinate for the five to eight hours. So you just wanna make sure that you're massaging in this marinade all over this work shoulder. And now I'm gonna leave it to marinade. Okay guys, so we're yummily seasoned and marinating pork shoulder has been marinating for over eight hours and I just transferred it into this grease pan and it will be in the oven at 275 degrees for three hours. I'll let you see when it's done. Now as for this leftover marinade, I will be putting it in a saucepan and adding some honey, one tablespoon of honey, a teaspoon of mustard and two teaspoons of ketchup and reducing it to make a super yummy glaze and sauce for the pork shoulder when it's done. Okay guys, so I am making my glaze slash gravy slash reduction and what I did was, I, as I said before, I used the leftover marinade. I also used one tablespoon of honey and 
one teaspoon of uh, the regular mustard and two teaspoons of ketchup and and I added approximately one eight cup of water and I'm just gonna allow this to boil and reduce and become a nice little flavorful glaze and this is what I'm going to be adding to my pork as you can see it has only 21 minutes left so at about 20 minutes I am going to be adding this glaze to it and have it finish up with this glaze on top checking on our pork and it looks really great in the oven okay so this is what our pork looks like at this point I still have 20 minutes left on the timer and so I'm gonna just add this glaze reduction I've just made on it and put it back to finish up for the last 20 minutes it smells so great Now that I've added this glaze, I'll put it back for the last 20 minutes. And that's a wrap. We're all set. Look how beautiful this is, guys. Mm, it smells even better. I can't wait to dig into it. Well, let me fix it up and show you the end product. Okay, so I've sliced it up to make my sandwiches and look at that beauty. Look how juicy that is. Pairing it with some whole grain buns and dinner is served. There you have it, Caribbean style roast pork shoulder. Delicious, juicy, and almost gone. Guys, it's so delicious. I guarantee you will not regret making this. If you can just spend the time to marinate and to wait for it to cook, you will not regret it. It's really delicious. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching again. Please remember to like, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you so much for joining and stay tuned to my channel for where we can bring you more awesome tips, tricks, ideas and adventures to your home.